Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today talking about a new patent that hints that Tesla could be going into restaurant chains, maybe a burger chain, who knows? And we will look into China. We have some more numbers and analyze how the Model Y is taking over. And we will look at Giga Berlin because more great news coming from there. So let's start with China first. So we do have some TikTok users that do think they are funny by um, yeah, kind of attempting that there is like a Model X break failure. And now um, the Tesla Chinese legal team has um, went against those kind of people and those had to apologize publicly because it was just a stunt. It was just for entertainment. That's what they said. And that's really sad because people are like misleading a lot of people out there through apps like TikTok or YouTube or etc. Um, and they don't realize how they hurt a brand like Tesla because people that watch that might think, well, I'm not going to buy a Tesla right now. So I find it really important and really good that the Chinese legal team of Tesla is going against those kind of people showing that they are not going to accept that people are misleading potential cons consumers out there. And this is something that should be happening not only in China, but maybe in other countries as well, when people are just doing false stuff. So based on that, not only that, we saw as well that in recent uh, weeks, I would say around the past two weeks, everything got more quiet in China. We saw a lot of things happening before that. And I mentioned that it will be taking a few weeks and then everything is calmed down. And I do think that we have taken this challenge. We went through this challenge for Tesla side now and they are now back to business. Looking again at some numbers here, we do see, which I find really interesting, that for April the Model Y is taking over the Model 3. That is something that I find really important because that's something we will see in the next few months continue. And once Austin and Berlin are starting to produce the Model Y, this will be the time when the Model Y is on track to be the best-selling car for Tesla and at then some point in the future, the best selling car in the world. Not only that is some great news, furthermore, Tesla is leading as well when it comes to the models and the brand awareness and the brand in case uh, to the competition here. The numbers are still great and they are further growing and don't underestimate, we do have Austin and Giga Berlin coming to launch and produce cars at the second half of this year. And maybe the competition might thought, well, we are catching up, but now Tesla is going 10 steps ahead again. And this is how it has worked in different um, tech uh, companies like Apple in the past. Always when the competition thought they are catching up, um, Apple went further ahead, further with the quality, further with the design. And well, today it's a different story because they uh, kind of stopped um, going into the future, but we do see that Tesla still works um, to get better. And we do see that here as well on the numbers for the Model 3 and the Model Y for this year to date, you still see like around 50% less cars, but I think this will change over the next few months very rapidly that the Model Y is gonna catch up. Interesting, VW ID4 with 10,000 cars, so VW catching up here as well. Um, but I will say something to that really shortly here, because I believe that the um, reason why they are catching up is just because in the European market, there is no competition for them yet. And once the Model Y is coming out, it will be a really hard, hard fight when it comes to getting consumers buying an electric car. And I think that VW has now the advantage in Europe to expand itself, get a bigger market share, and then, um, yeah, sells a lot of cars. But I think once Model Y is gonna go to the market in um, Austin, but as well in uh, Giga Berlin for the European market, Tesla will regain a lot of market share over there. So we don't only have that great news when it comes to as well the brand awareness and of course the brand itself. Tesla is still leading way ahead of any other 
um, global brand in the car industry here. So we do also have some really good news when it comes to a patent because it's a patent like for the name Tesla um, using the name Tesla when it comes to a restaurant or maybe a burger chain and I'm not kidding here we have seen that online that actually um, yeah Tesla is trying not only to be a leading global brand as we just saw here on the paper we also see that Tesla is going further um, using the power of its brand um, to be able to sell uh, any kind of services and maybe drinks and food in the future at supercharging stations and this is because uh, Elon Musk said he would like to see like a 1950 diner style at a supercharging station and this would be a great business idea as well for Tesla to um, further cement the brand awareness that lifestyle surrounding the brand uh, would be a really good idea to do that. Furthermore, we have great news coming from Giga Berlin. Functional tests of equipment in the Giga Berlin paint shop, foundry and the body shop as well as the installation for tanks for waste, water treatment and the refueling system are allowed. So this is great news. Tesla is moving forward. Tesla is um, yeah, able to do more things right now at the site here. Um, just as a reminder for all those who don't know that in Germany you are not allowed to work 24 7 without a permission and Tesla has the permission to work 24 hours a day inside the Giga Berlin factory site. So that's really important. They get a lot of time to prepare all the machines. All the production lines can be installed right now already. So they're not, they're not wasting any time here. They're installing everything. And just give me my word here uh, or take my word here. I believe the ramp up of the Model Y in Giga Berlin will be much faster as it was in um, Giga Shanghai because Tesla has to wait right now. Um, if they would have the final permission and the batteries right now, they could actually start right now producing cars inside the factory if they have already built a production line. Of course, the Giga presses are still installed. That is an issue, of course. But I think at the end of the year, when the Giga Press is installed, the building is closed, the production lines are installed. I don't think they're going to start with one production line. They're going to have a full two, three production lines, um, I do assume, installed. And that will make them um, make it possible to start producing much faster as in any other factory at the beginning. If you do enjoy my work, do consider subscribing and I wish you a wonderful day. Take care, guys.